Hey guys, so I started, um, I was working on um, backing my tiles and I thought, you know, um, I've never shown you guys how I do this, so I thought I would stop what I was doing and set the camera up. So, um, here is one of my 6x6 six six tiles, I'm using cork board um, on the back and I get it in a roll um, and the roll is oops, here it is here and the roll is um, 24 inches by 48 inches so it's two foot by four foot roll and it's very soft and very pliable um, it's just this little it's very very lightweight um, so what I do is is I take my roll, usually go from the other side actually, and I'm going to take one of my six by six tiles or whatever size tile you're using, and I'm going to line it up so that the edges are just over. And then I'm just gonna take a little fine, ultra fine marker and just Mark that off there. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut just inside of the line. You can also use a rotary cutter for this um, and a metal yard stick. Um, but I couldn't find my self-healing mat today, so I didn't really want to count on to my work table. So, then we're going to take the piece that we just cut, and we're going to line it up and see. So this side here looks okay. You can see how I have a little bit of an edge there, but I don't over here. So. I'm going to trim it up just a bit. Just take a little off. Measure again. And I'm good. Because I don't mind if this little, you know, border shows. I just don't want this showing. And. Oops. Darn it. Sorry about that. Okay. So I will show you what I use. And um, my main glue is the Gloomer, or the Gloomers, Elmer's Glue All. Um, and I'll lay a base down here and a base down on here. Um, but then for my corners, I actually use a diamond glaze. Um, it, it's just, it, it dries a little bit quicker and it's a little sturdier. Otherwise my edges seem to pull up. Um, and it's what I had on hand. So it's just what I've always used. I'm gonna lay down a good layer of that there. And I have one of my little brushes here. You want to get all the way to the edges. You want a nice medium layer you want to make it all smooth you don't want to have a bunch of bumps in there so okay we're going to set that aside real quick wipe up our table I'm going to stick a paper towel down there I usually do it in two different spots so I don't but my camera doesn't quite work that way so and then we're going to 
this down here. And the good thing about the, the Elmer's glue wall and as well as the diamond glaze is that if anything goes over the side, it dries clear. You just don't want to have any lumpy bumpies in there anywhere. These tiles do have raised ridges on the back. So you want to make sure we get good coverage everywhere. Like that. Clean up my edges real quick. And then I'm going to go and just layer some of this diamond glaze, like so. And then make sure you wipe up what oozes out, because some will definitely ooze out. Now you can see my edges are all adhered. Like I said, it's showing up white right now, but that will dry perfectly clear. Any edges that are resistant, you can always pop up again and stick a little more of the diamond glaze in there. This is my technique for doing my tiles. And then I'll usually just apply firm pressure to the top. Like so. And then once I know that there's no more wet glue on them anyways, I'll stack them up so that I have the weight of all the tiles keeping my backs on. Just like that. And now they can be displayed on an easel. Um, the backing will come off if you yank it off. So if somebody really doesn't want it on there. Um, but this is nice so that it is not going to. And this is what happens on the back. Um, it is cork board. So your glue is going to ooze out a little bit. But like I said, it dries perfectly clear. So obviously wait till it's dry before you start stacking things. But... If you set them out, set some books on top of them, and then once that glue on the back is a little bit more dry, you can stack them on top of each other. And you're good. Well, um, I hope this helped someone, anyone, <laughs> on um, backing your, your horrible tiles, you know, because nobody wants that. So um, if this helped you at all, give me a thumbs up. 
um, maybe subscribe. I'll post links down below on where you can get um, the diamond glaze and where you can get this um, two foot by four foot roll of corkboard. Thanks. You guys have a great day. Bye.